Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, in this tutorial, you will see how to use Log4j in Java project. So guys, I have prepared a checklist and I will follow this checklist and I will show you step by step how you can use Log4j in your Java project. Guys, this is very easy. This is my checklist. So guys, before starting, we must know some basics about the 4j. This is log4j okay so first question is what is log4j so you must know the definition of, of log4j guys log4j so guys log4j is an open source framework that help us to store logs on the storage medium in a particular readable format so in your application you are uh, trying to log so this will help you and uh, we will see the most useful component in this log4j which are logger class so logger class help us to uh, send the logs to the log file we can maintain the logs with the help of this logger class and we have the appender class that will help you to create the file and it will uh, tell uh, the system uh, that it will write the logs in the uh, uh, notepad in the uh, sequential fashion and it will keep logging inside the same file so appender will append all the logs one by one okay and the layout class the third is layout class so layout class uh, tells the pattern in which you want to place the log so what kind of the uh, layout strategy in the file in the log file so that class will help you to do that okay guys now now we will see how to use uh, this log4j in java project so we will start the implementation from this step so first of all we need a log4j jar file and we will download log4j from this link this is the maven repository link so guys uh, you can paste this link here in the address bar and you will reach on this page so here is the version uh, log4j 1.2.17 and at this place you have to click once and uh, this log4j.jar file will be downloaded on your machine. Okay guys, so this is the download location of my log4j. In the same way, you can put this log4j anywhere in your system. And the second step, we will open the clips and we will create a simple Java project. There we will import the this jar file. Guys, this is my Eclipse. This is eclipse uh, oxygen version at go to the file menu and create a new project so i'm going to give a name uh, in this project name text box so log 4g example this is my project click next and you will reach on this page click on the finish and now on the left hand side you will see the log 4g example project is ready and we are inside the project explorer okay guys so we have done with the step two but there's a one simple thing is pending we will do right click and we'll go on to the properties and here in the property window we will select java build path go here in the library tab and click here on the external add external jar button okay and we will uh, select this uh, downloaded jar now you can see the downloaded jar is added here in the library path okay guys now we have done now we completely done with the step two now we will proceed with the step 3. In this step 3, we have to create the log4j properties file. This is required to tell the log4j class that what kind of strategy we are going to follow to print the logs in the log file. And guys, the mandatory thing, the most important thing is we have to place this log4j.properties file in the classes folder. Okay, so we have to create this classes folder. I will show you. So this is for the uh, standalone Java project. Guys, if you are using web project, so for the web project, you have to place this log4j.properties file inside the web INF folder. And then you have to create one folder classes and then put this file inside the classes folder. So I will show you. So this is my project and I will do right click and I will go to the properties and here uh, the Java build path. Now click here in the source tab okay guys this is our project and we have to expand the tree by clicking on this arrow okay guys and now come here on the downside you can see a one checkbox is there we will check this and you can see one option is enabled now 
this is output folder click on it and go on the right hand side click here on the edit button and this small window will appear so guys here we have a two option so first one is uh, log 4j example slash bin that is showing the path where we going to generate this our class of the project but in the second option we have to give a specific path okay so we will opt for the second click on the browse it will open the tree of our project and on the uh, root level we have to create one folder okay so this is the way we can create a folder classes click on the ok guys and uh, you can see uh, the classes folder is created at the root level click ok and uh, click here on the apply and finally click on the apply and close okay guys uh, after this uh, action our classes folder is created I will show you go to the properties and again come here in the resources now you can see the location of the project okay now click on this arrow and this will open the location of the project folder okay so right here we on the place of project folder now you can see the classes folder is created okay so whatever the uh, classes will be generated after the uh, build that will be generated inside it okay guys so we were on the third step so here we have created the folder classes and now we will again go inside the same folder and we will clear create our log 4j dot properties file here in the classes folder so do a right click go to the new and create a text file and type log 4j after the dot we will change the extension because we are going to create the properties file okay this way it will uh, show you a warning don't worry click ok now your property file is ready now guys we have to write something inside this property file I will open in the edit plus and uh, the content that you have to write we have to define some properties in this file so we have uh, content ready and I will copy this content from this note file and uh, same content you guys can uh, copy from the description I have given all these things and now I'm going here in the properties file now you can see guys uh, this is a log 4 dot properties I saved it and this is the root logger option so this is the logger option uh, the kind of logger you want to activate so here uh, the level is info file and standard output file means uh, it is going into the file standard output that means it going to the console so the first uh, settings for uh, the uh, sending the logs inside the log file so we are using log 4 jappendafile properties there we are using rolling file appender so this rolling file appender class will help you to uh, write the log inside the file and guys in the second line at line number six we have to give the logging file name so we have to create logging dot log file somewhere in the uh, drive or inside the project folder you can create so here in the example I have created in the my downloads folder so this is the path of the file okay so I will create this logging dot log file here which is not present in this folder and uh, the same way create a text file uh, rename it logging dot log file it will show you a warning just uh, click yes and your logging file is ready because we need to write the log so we have to create it here and we will copy the path and we have uh, just given the path at line number six okay guys and this is the maximum file size so the log file size increases uh, up to 10 MB so the file will be split and the next one is the layout so we are we are using the class pattern layout so we have to define the pattern so what kind of pattern what kind of log will be uh, visible so this is the date time format and uh, there's a line number percent L and we have a percent M and N for line changing so the log will be uh, printed line by line and uh, 
date time and the uh, request line number where we have applied the log that will be displayed in the log file in so all these statement will go inside the logging dot log file so first one the first setting uh, for the uh, log statement that are going inside the log file in the second uh, this is the log message direct to the console so we are using console appender class and this is a standard out dot target is console system dot out that means we are uh, telling to set the logs on the console and the pattern will be same conversion pattern will be same that means uh, that uh, the the log statements will be printed in the same format so guys this was the uh, 4g properties i hope this is clear to you and guys we have created the log 4g properties inside the classes folder and uh, we have created the logging dot log file somewhere in the drive and we have given the path inside the properties file and this is my project and to test it we have to create one class file do right click go to the new and create a class and here we will give a package name com dot test and uh, check this one so that this will create a main method inside your class file and here you have to give the name of the class log 4j test run okay so this is my class which has a main method right now now click on the finish so my uh, class is created here okay guys now we have to write some code to use the log so what we have to written we have to write some statements i will describe you so here all things are ready so let me paste it okay guys there's some uh, dependency need uh, some import statement so we have to import the class so this is our uh, apache.log4j so we have imported the log and uh, here in the parameter we have to give the class name so at line number 9 we are creating the instance of logger class okay so logger class have a factory method get logger and there we have to pass the class name for which we are going to do the logging okay so at line number 9 you can see logger dot get logger and we have passed the class name and line number 11 we are using the useful method of the logger class that will help us to write the log logger dot debug and there's a, a string and a parameter you can pass the parameter whatever you want to log whatever you want to pass the message inside the logging file or it, it can be exception object in the same way the another method is a logger dot info and uh, the further methods are warn error and fatal so these are the uh, different methods but the behavior is same this will print the message but the, this will be used as per the situation if you are a, uh, if your code is tentative for uh, error so in that place you have to use uh, error or in such places if uh, you want to warn the developer so you can use the lower dot warn or sometimes if some fatal will happen can be happen so you have to use logger dot fatal method okay guys and uh, i just executed this and you can see on the console info warn error and uh, the uh, logging statements are printed in the console as well as uh, these messages statements these log statements are uh, printed inside the log file as well so we will check the log file as well so i'm going here uh, in the folder where we have this logging file just open it and uh, you can see the logging statements are appeared here info warn fatal okay guys and uh, line number is also printed line number 12 13 14 15 uh, these are the line number uh, that on that we have requested the log statement at line number 11 
12 13 14 and 15 we have requested the log that's why it is printed and whatever the message so it is coming uh, just after the hyphen okay so in this way we can use the log 4j in the java project as well as in the your web project and guys we are not able to see the debug because uh, you can see at line number 11 so we have not activated the root logger debug so we have to enable it as well as here in the properties file so you have to type debug comma and then rest of the things info file and standard output save it and come back here uh, in the class file and just build it and again run this file run as java application okay now you can see the debug statements is also there in the log so the same uh, debug will be printed inside the log file as well and we will verify this by opening the log file okay this is my previously opened file I have just closed it and now going back here so this is my log file click here and now you can see the statements let me scroll down you can see uh, the debug is printed because previously we have not uh, uh, given the debug level in the properties file that's why it was not appeared now it has appeared successfully at line number 11 so the line number is also mentioned here so guys this is the uh, all about the log 4j you can and uh, this is the whole process you can use the log 4j in your java project I hope you guys found this video useful so please share with your friends as well and please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys thanks for watching cool light help